hey what is going on youtube welcome back to another video and welcome if you're new so in today's video we'll be looking at this application right here called character.ai or c.ai for short now you can find this on the google play store i'm not sure if it's available for ios devices but it is available on the google play store for download for free okay so once you have the application installed you would be required to create a profile so this is my profile here hacker 007 and my profile is public right so it's pretty simple to create a profile the basic connect your gmail and enter your username and a password and you're good to go okay so what do we do from this page here now on the bottom of the screen we have various tabs we have chats search create explore and profile and I'll be taking you through what each of these mean. All right, so the chat, this is where your recent conversation is. This is where you'll go to actually talk to these AI chatbots. So as you can see here, we have a few of them selected. Now, if we select Socrates, Socrates, I'm sorry for that, watching that pronunciation. Um, if we select this one here, we can go ahead and just type some random things here. Um, what do you think about life? And then it will generate a response. And these responses are fairly well, um, quick and fast. So these responses, well, if the server isn't full and those issues often happen, so you'd have to look out for server issues or downtime or things like that. So this is a simple prompt and it's just answering our questions and now let's back out of that and if we go to search this is where you could search for specific characters so if you know of a character or seen a character out there being viral and all this is where you'd look for that specific character now this middle option here this is where we'll go ahead and create our character so let's say we wanted to create a random character right so let's say nancy now let's click on next then you could add your photo but i'm not going to do that right now and you could set your greeting you could set it as public unlisted private so i'm going to set it as unlisted right now and as you can see this is the type of character that you're creating so if you wanted an image generation character you could enable image generation for this character you could add the subtitle, add further descriptions, and add character definition. Now, character definition is really good because this is where we'll define where your character gets placed. So if it's either an image generation character or one that talks about games, lifestyle, anime, or wherever. Now, let's just click on create. Now, as you can see, our character was created and Nancy and the ingredient was authored by and as you can see, a hacker triple seven there. So that is where it would indicate that your character has been created. You could click these three dots and remove the message, share character, save, and start a new chat, view saved chats, refresh the chat, or edit the character. So that's just a little bit of heads up there for you. Now on this option here, we have Explore. Now Explore is where we would have different categories. This is where the character definition would come in play as it would be able to categorize your character in various categories. So if we should select Comedy, this will provide us with a list of characters. And as you can see, beside the, the name of the person created the character, we can see how many conversations have been had with these characters. So the Elon Musk has had 12.7 million um, conversations. So that chat room might be full. Even if there isn't any limit as to the number of conversations, just be wary that if you select that conversation, chances are that at times you might have server down. If we go to the recommended, we could see some characters being recommended. We have discover and featured. Now featured is where the top and the best recommended characters are. Now, that is where I got the Socrates from. So, and as you can see, we have the character assistant, your AI work study body. So this character can, can actually write codes and do everything basically like what ChatGPT with GPT 3.5 can do. And that is just how the categories 
section is situated in character.ai. And as you can see, we have our profile here and we have our unlisted um, characters. We could go ahead and delete these if we choose. So that is just an overview as to how to use character.ai or c.ai for short. So let me know what you think about this application in the video's description. Is this one of the best chatbots that you've ever seen before? So thank you for watching. Hackers Plus have been out.